Hello traders, so I was going to do another in the series of contrast and compare, however, uh, there's an opportunity this morning that I really like for one of my favorite trades. So I'm actually going to do um, uh, a put broken wing butterfly and I'll explain the reasons behind this particular trade, why I'm doing it, etc. So again, this is this is kind of one of my favorite trades that I do on a regular basis. And this is going to be a new one in the uh, start to finish series. So we'll walk this all the way through uh, to completion whenever I happen to close this trade and if I adjust it along the way. So if you like this sort of content, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And of course, leave any comments or questions as well. Well, so the concept behind this trade, let's take a look oop, at our chart here. So the concept behind this trade, this is the SPY, this is daily bar charts of the SPY. You can see we rallied up, uh, then we started to have a little bit of a sell-off here. So using just a little bit of technical analysis, um, I just, I kind of see support in this general area of around 443, somewhere in there to 445. Um, uh, it just, it should be a support area because what used to be resistance, we came up, we sold off, we came back up to almost that exact same spot, sold off. Now we're rolling back down to that spot. Usually those areas will become support. Now, on top of that, we have two big earnings announcements tonight. We've got Apple and Amazon. Apple specifically usually tends to um, have good earnings reports and that tends to move the market up because of Apple's size. Now, this could work against us. Um, you know, it, Apple might not have good earnings and the market might tank tomorrow, so who knows. But again, what I'm doing is I am setting this trade up. I'm gonna give myself a little buffer for error in this trade, just in case the market does, you know, continue to drop. Right now it's at 450. If it were to drop down here to 445 or even drop down to maybe 440, I'm gonna show you how I set this trade up to where it's not going to put too much pressure on the position. So that's my premise here. Let's just be clear on that. As far as the upside goes, don't really have an opinion, don't care, because this trade's gonna have no risk on the upside. So I'm only really looking at my downside risk, which I'm envisioning to be down here around 445, maybe as low as 440. So if that's my premise, this is why I'm setting up this particular trade. You see, I have no risk to the upside. So the market can rally up as much as it wants. Now, I might not make money unless I do some things to adjust this trade, but I'm not gonna lose any money if the market rips up. And again, I, I have an opinion right now that the market's more likely to go up than down. However, I also wanna provide myself some buffer to the downside. And you can see our break even on the downside at expiration is all the way down here at 440. Remember, I was expecting if we got a pullback, maybe it'd be into the 445 range. That would be perfect for this trade. Now I'm going out a little ways in time. Volatility is up. When volatility is higher, these butterfly trades get a little bit cheaper. So it's a, that's why this is kind of a good time to enter something like this from my perspective. Not only does it get a little uh, cheaper, you get a little better reward to risk ratio in these when volatility is up. And again, it's also at a point where I'm anticipating maybe a market bounce, but I don't have to be exact or precise on where the market's gonna bounce. Again, if, if it sells off down here to 440 or something like that, don't care. Now, this is our P&L diagram at expiration. So here's where we're at today. So of course, if we enter this trade, we're gonna be down a couple bucks because of commissions, et cetera. If the market were to sell off hard tomorrow, Apple has a really bad announcement or whatever, our market drops down to 440. Well, I'm gonna be down 15, 16 bucks in the trade. Not a huge factor here. It will actually be more than that because if the market sells off, volatility will also go up. If volatility goes up, that's gonna put a little more hurt on this trade. So I do have to keep that in mind. But anyhow, if this is a, a trade that, uh, that I like after I model it out here, I'm comfortable with the way it looks. 
uh, and I am. Again, this is a trade that I, I personally like to make on a regular basis. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to save this trade, and I'm going to put it in our start to finish series. So, um, and I can put a little note in here about my premise. Um, IV was up a little and market was near my projected support. Um, of, we'll call it, I think it was 445. So I'm going to go ahead and save that trade and I'm going to copy the link and I'll share that link with you in the notes down below as well. So that's going to be a new start to finish trade that we entered here uh, in the SPY and this is a broken wing put butterfly. I should also make a note that you could have traded this as an iron butterfly as well, meaning that you've got calls, a call spread on the top side and a put spread on the bottom side. I just get in the habit of trading these in all puts. I just find it a little easier for myself. Um, and that's the way that I trade them personally and, and teach others, etc. So anyhow, um, that's it for today. Take care.